the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G15 versus the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. My two favorite laptops from 2021, if I had to put my money anywhere in the market in 2021, this is where I would be putting it. These are powerful, thin, and light. This one's a little bit thinner than this one, but thin and light laptops that pack a big punch, especially for creative professionals. Now, here are the benchmarks that are going to be coming up in just a few minutes. But first and foremost, let's talk about the build quality, usability, and assembly of these laptops, as well as battery life and color gamut range, and what makes each of these laptops stand out to me in 2021. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about build quality. This is a magnesium alloy chassis, and this has an aluminum build quality. Now, as far as the weight and thickness of each of these laptops, you can see that coming up on the screen now. The Legion 7 Slim is slightly thinner than the G15, but not by much, but it definitely has a thinner stance. Overall, both laptops have a great aesthetic. This has the pearl white, well, moonlight, uh, as Asus says it. Uh, and this has a very black matte, kind of shadowy undercover appearance. Now, one thing that people may not like about this laptop, and especially for me with my oily fingers, is this one is prone to fingerprints. This one, because of its white top cover and matte finish, will not show fingerprints. From a design and usability standpoint, just from appearances alone, you might wanna go with the Asus Zephyrus G15. But if this doesn't bother you and you don't have oily fingers like myself, then that won't be an issue for you. Now, one thing that's really cool that I love about the Legion is this has this iridescent Legion logo. It has this iridescent bar here along the ledge that really shines. You have some iridescence here on the Lenovo logo. I just like those little hints and design nods. Now on the G15, if you can see, you do have some iridescence. I don't know if I can know if I can get it to show, but you have some iridescence here inside of the dots. There's kind of a reflective pearl essence reflection that comes through these dots, which actually looks pretty good when the light hits it just right. But this is a little more obvious with the Legion logo. Now let's go ahead and check the build and assembly of each one to see which one's put together better. Now, I love the Legion because it's so clean on the bottom of the chassis. Uh, and I don't mean fingerprints, because as you can see, I got a lot of fingerprints there, but I mean the way it's assembled. There's not a lot of extra pieces or things jutting out or sticking out. It's so well assembled bottom cover to the side panels. You have such great low profile edges, nice rounded. You have this Legion logo that comes right there, stamped into the bottom of the foot. I just like how simple and clean and professional this laptop looks. We have a vent along the left side panel, right side panel, the back of the chassis, as well as the bottom cover. Moving over to the G15, a little bit more of a gamer aesthetic. So we have this vent with this really nice gamer look going Going on here. Uh, we have these edges that have some good silver accents. And then when we get to the bottom cover, you have a lot of these little notches and knobs and, and edges sticking out. And the hinge where it fits into the bottom of the chassis sticks out, where the hinge is on top of the Legion 7 Slim. So there's more catchy edges on the G15 than the low profile aesthetic of the Legion 7 Slim. Now let's go ahead and open and close the lid on each one and make sure that can happen with one hand and then we'll check the screen flex. So go ahead, grab the lid, they open and close easily with one hand and then let's go ahead and check out the screen flex of each one a good bit of screen flex there uh, but I would say quite a bit more of screen flex on the g15 let's go ahead and check screen flex at the bottom I think screen flex at the bottom I'm gonna say there's more on the Legion 7 slim let's go ahead and check out the screen wobble more screen wobble on the g15 but when you're typing I don't think it's going to wobble too much. Let's find out. No, you don't have any screen wobble when you're typing on either one. And really that's a lot to do with how the screen sets up the keyboard deck a little bit on the G15. Whereas this keyboard's a little stiffer and it's mounted to the top of the keyboard deck rather than connecting to the back of the chassis. So there's a big difference there. Now there's a vent here along the top bezel of the keyboard deck. It's not a very big vent, but it is a vent nonetheless. There's a lot larger vent here on the Asus Zephyrus G15. And then of course we have vents along the side panels as well on the G15. Let's check out port selection. So on the right side panel of the G15, we have a USB type A micro or mini SD card slot. And then on the other side, we have a headphone jack, two USB type C's, 
USB type A, RJ45, an HDMI port, and then our power connector. On the Legion 7 Slim, we have a slimmer selection of ports. On the left side panel, we have an SD card slot and a headphone jack. On the right side panel, we have two USB type C's. And on the back of the chassis, we have our power port and then two USB type A. So there's no HDMI port on the Legion Slim 7 or Legion 7 Slim. All you have is USB type C's. So if you're somebody who's looking to connect a monitor to this laptop, you will either need a dongle or a monitor that goes directly from the monitor to USB type C into your laptop. So keep that in mind when considering each of these models. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of these two models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The Legion 7 Slim does have a webcam where the Asus Zephyrus G15 does not. And here's a sample of the Legion 7 Slim's webcam. Here is a sample of the webcam and the audio on the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. Each of these laptops does come with a 15 inch screen and here are the brightness, color accuracy, and color gamut range of each of the screens coming up now for you. Regarding the audio experience of each of the laptops, here's a quick sample for you. Now that we have the laptops open, I'm gonna go ahead and slide these two next to each other. And as you can see, the trackpad on the G15 is slightly bigger than the trackpad on the Legion 7 Slim. I really like the trackpad on the G15. It is a fantastic trackpad. It's quiet, it's responsive, it's secured very nicely to the chassis. The Legion 7 Slim trackpad is great as well, secured well to the chassis, has a nice click. I just think the trackpad being a slightly bigger on the G15 makes it stand out above the 7 Slim. The keyboards are great on both laptops. However, personal preference comes into this one and I like the simple cluster here on the G15. I'm not a gamer, so numpads really don't stand out to me as an essential element of the keyboard deck, um, but both keys have a nice quiet key press. They're very responsive. But as I lean over here to the G15, I have a lot more function keys that bring very good use cases to the forefront. And I have a quick access to the Armory Crate Center on the G15. So I like the keyboard over on the G15. It offers quicker access to a lot of those essential tasks and shortcuts that I use on a daily basis. Now regarding how loud the keyboard and trackpad are when in use, here's a quick audio sample for each of them. Battery life is another area where the G15 stands out a little bit more. You got slightly more customization opportunity with the G15, especially with the HS series processor. It's a little bit more optimized for battery life, especially when you turn on iGPU mode, which turns off the dedicated GPU and allows you to get really great battery life. You can see the battery life results coming up on the screen now. The Legion 7 Slim has great options as well in the Lenovo Vantage Center, but just not as much as in the Armory Crate Center. Okay, so we have conserved power mode, we have hybrid mode, but it just doesn't do as much to give us long battery life as the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G15. Now, as far as the upgrade path is concerned for each of these laptops, you can only swap out one of the RAM sticks. So that means the top RAM configuration for both of these laptops is 40 gigs. Now, if you want more RAM upgrade opportunities, I would recommend getting the Legion 7 or the Legion 5 or Legion 5 Pro. So more of the full size models of the Legion series to upgrade both of the RAM configurations to get you up to 64 gigs of RAM if that's important to you. But keep in mind, both of these, only one swappable RAM stick. 
Now, as we're getting into the performance benchmarks, do note that the Asus Zephyrus G15 comes with the Ryzen 9 5900HS, 16 gigs of RAM, and the RTX 3080 GPU. Now, I'm also gonna include benchmarks from the G14, which comes with the RTX 3060. So whatever configuration you get the G15 in, hopefully you'll have enough benchmarks to make a qualified decision for yourself. Over here with the Legion 7 Slim, you're gonna have the Ryzen 7 5800H, 16 gigs of RAM, and the RTX 3060. Max Q. So there's a bit of a difference there in the configurations, but I think that also helps them all the more in making the right choice for your needs. Now, starting out in the simulated benchmarks, we're going to look at Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi Core. In the simulated benchmarks, you can see that the laptops are pretty much neck and neck on most of the benchmark test. Now let's get out of the simulated and get into the real world and look at 3D modeling in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. As you can see, the biggest advantage of the G15 is gonna be an Autodesk 3DS Max, but then as you get into the other three, they're pretty much neck and neck, and you aren't gonna see a great advantage even from the RTX 3080. So keep in mind that both of these laptops will be solid for 3D modeling. Moving into After Effects, the standard benchmark, they're only about 50 points away, but as we move into the render benchmark is really where the RTX 3080 stands out a lot and gives a huge point increase above the Legion 7 Slim. Because of your amazing feedback, I now am featuring gaming benchmarks on my channel. I'm really excited to be releasing these now and on future laptops, so just keep an eye out for those. They might not be on every single video, but they're gonna be as much as possible from here on out. Jumping into video editing, you can see the export times coming up on the screen for each of these laptops. Both had good export times for 4K and even 6K B-RAW. Red footage took a little bit longer, um, but overall they both have quick export times on both battery mode and plugged into power. Regarding playback, they both had zero drop frames at 4K low drop frames at 6K B-RAW, and then struggling at the red footage. That stuff is just so big and beefy. Red footage is pretty tough for these laptops. Now, one of my favorite tests to run is each laptop at different fan modes, and you can see those results coming up on the screen for each one. And what we're gonna see is the fan mode, the thermals, the fan noise, and the actual export time at each of the modes. As you can see, these laptops get really hot at turbo and performance mode, but as you get down to balanced and quiet mode, they still have great export times, but they have low thermals and low fan noise. So really for both of these laptops, I personally would run the export times and you know editing in Premiere Pro at more of those lower fan modes because then you don't have as much noise, you don't have as hot of thermals, it just creates for a better user experience. Now getting into Photoshop, really either laptop will work really well for Photoshop. You can see the G15 pulling out ahead in Photoshop, but really at 827, that's a great score, plenty of power for Photoshop, so both laptops will be really suitable there. Now putting these two laptops head to head for thermals, as you can see at their highest settings, cranking the most performance, they get hot, but they don't stay there for long. They drop back down to the high 70s very quickly uh, in about 30 seconds. And then after 60 seconds and beyond, they even get down into the 60s. And so you aren't too concerned with these laptops running hot all the time. It's just when they're pushing really hard doing a 4K export, you'll see the heat come up. And then as soon as you finish, they will subside and cool back down. So which one should you put your money on? Now, if it were me personally, I like the look, the feel, and really the usability of the Legion 7 Slim. However, my struggle is I really like the keyboard and the trackpad on the G15. So I'm torn, and that's why I say if I were gonna put my money into a laptop this year, I'd pick either of these, because they both have features I like. Raw performance, is the award's really gonna go to the G15 with that bigger GPU, and the better battery life optimization, this is a great buy as well. So really, you can't go wrong with either one, and I know that's really not an actual answer, but that's why I featured both of them instead of saying one of these laptops was my favorite one of the year. So anyway, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.